Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. The match today is Ajax, and they will play final. It's Ajax we'll be looking at with some detail, I feel, today. Yeah, this side needs a few wins, really, to uh, achieve their ambitions. Yes, they can qualify for Europe in the position that they're in, but um, really with the quality at their disposal, they were hoping for better. We have a high-scoring team, the highest, in fact, in the league, against the side with the best defence. It really should be a terrific contest. Yeah, interesting to see which he's going to give. If indeed either, whether we will see a lot of goals or not, I don't know. And Ajax are going to line up like this. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot... That three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. And for final, this is how they're going to line up. And we're putting the opposition up here as 4 3 3 as well. Alan, could it be more of a 4 5 1? Yeah, I think so. Maybe when they're trying to absorb the pressure, I think they'll try and stay nice and solid and just leave the one man up front. Well, the Amsterdam Arena has been the home for Ajax for several years now. It's specifically built for football, but it does host uh, concerts and other events as well. We've made our way to the gantry, but it's not easy with all the different staircases here. It's quite a complicated arrangement behind the scenes. It is. I used to have a pre-season tournament here that I used to visit regularly. And, of course, the famous Ajax graced the surface, which has had its problems down the years, but part the stadium... He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Right for goal! Plenty of power, but not too much direction. I like the look of this attack. Jürgensen. Oh, he's totally, totally done the defender. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. El Ahmedi. got through there but the defender was absolutely on top of his game wasteful pass unforced error really the attack now from Ajax he's through here well, that's great work by the goalkeeper bit of interplay between these two he's got it away and that's what you have to do and that'll be behind for a corner for Ajax corner played into the middle it's not really away from the threat here now last a chance to break away now on the counter Break still on. Stop the game for the free kick. Well, decisive refereeing here. 
he reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. Well, that's good defending. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Here is Larson. Jurgensen. Getting forward well as a team now. Gets his foot in there. Oh, Larson. Great stop. Punched away by the goalkeeper. And the decision is a corner here. broken down and they'll have to try again and the ref's done well here the cross can come in got the tackle in El Ahmedi they spread it out wide here chance to get some width into this attack Ooh, he's given offside. Yeah, he's playing on the shoulder, but just needs to hold his run a touch. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. It's uh, Puntala. Well, this attack... Now the shot! Oh, what a good try. Off the outside of the post. Certainly caught it, and I don't think the keeper was getting across to that. El Ahmedi. And the added time will amount to three. No doubt about that. Free kick. And they put away the first goal of the game. Fantastic football, really, to lead to a goal like that. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Oh, it's a brilliant header. That has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Anticipated the direction of the putt. Well, that's half-time at 1-0. Well, they've been scoring, haven't they, the hosts? But they've been conceding as well. So it's been a very invigorating game, I must say. Yeah, not often that uh, those strikers can be kept quiet. But doing it for 90 minutes is a lot more difficult. ready for the start of this second half. And 
There's the interception. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Well, they're in a good position here to Larson. Deep defending here, but he's got the ball. Good looking build up, but it rather petered out. Now, last. Using his physical power to protect the ball. Can he deal with it here? And it will be a kick for the goalkeeper. Goal kick. There's been plenty of warming up going on, and now I think one of the substitutes will be brought into the game. Ajax carrying the ball forward. Good vision here. The equaliser here. Here's a chance. Goalkeeper exposed. Elachmedy. Now Jurgensen. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, this is one way of protecting the lead, really. That's what the manager thinks anyway, making this tactical change. El Ahmedi. It goes out wide again. He went in well. Marshan Huntelaar. Shot off. Straight at the keeper. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Chance for the cross. Shot on! Oh, you can't get much closer than that. That without actually scoring. Oh, unlucky. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. And this will be uh, two changes at one go for the manager. Marshall Huntelaar trying to switch on the attack and shoots! And that is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Quick-witted and quick in this movement too to intercept there. Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him. El Ahmedi. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe... Mark A real chance here. Has to score. It's so late and so great, they've scored here to get right back in the contest. That is a wonderful goal, Alan. Well, the keeper quite rightly asking one or two questions of his defenders who didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. Well, let's take another look at the goal.
It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. El Ahmedi. Nice bit of interplay between these two. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Lovely ball. On the attack here. And time for the defender to clear the cross. It's with De Jong. Two oohs around the uh, crowd for a three-minute... Now the shot! Goal! A late goal too! And now that could be enough to win them the game. Oh, it shattered the opposition. I'm not sure they've got time to respond or energy to respond. Well, we were about to describe the final moments here as a draw but we've got a winner now a fantastic late late goal well you have to think that it is a winner as well martin very little time now for the opposition to come back We had seemed to be stuck in a, a bit of a stalemate, in truth, but this very, very late goal has changed that. Well, they threw men forward and they've got the reward. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Great example here of counter-attacking football, Alan. They drew the opposition onto them. They did, and they have got players with pace, and they've certainly got lads out there that can finish, as they showed. Well, we wondered which way this would pan out something had to give and it's the team with the best defensive record or had the best defensive record that's been punctured by this very free-flowing freewheeling side with so much firepower yeah i think you have to produce something special to beat this visiting defense and the home side certainly did that here